Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot 2D Games, my name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we're back in Training Sim World, and today we're going to be looking at the Peninsula Corridor. Now before I go into why we are here today and what gameplay we're going to be in, besides the screenshot and the title of the video, which you guys already know we're going to be looking at the baby bullet, um, something that I was just thinking about. I was thinking about it the other day about multiple channels, and I always find that that's a little too hard to manage. It's not something that I really want to do, but I was thinking about... Some of the stuff that we do is long and live. Meaning, if we do full services, I'll make a video on one of the full services, probably the longest one, and upload it. Maybe a couple of the other small ones. But I'm thinking here, there are 154, and even though they are repeat in different directions, they are different at times. Now I'm curious, would you want to see me tackle all the services for every single one of these? One had 108, I'm pretty sure one had 116, this one has 154. Um, if that's something that you would want to see on a separate channel, even though I have no idea when I'd have time for it, it probably would not have my commentary. I don't know if I would have that much to talk about doing another route. Once again, it'd probably be just gameplay video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about that. But of course, today I will shut my mouth and we will move on. We have in training, at least we better... Like I only got one medal for that. It should be this one. I believe that's what it's called. I have no idea what mixer is. <laughs> um Yeah. I'm surprised this is the first time that I haven't gotten an, an ad of their sale. Doesn't bother me at all. But this is brand new and I'm very excited about it. I bought, as you guys know, you can see in the videos that have been coming out, I bought three DLC all at once of stuff that I've always wanted to do. And boom, there she is. The MP36PH-3C, also known as the Baby Bullet. We also have the Canadian Oakville subdivision, which I'm very excited about as well. Let's see. Welcome to this MP36 P I love how the graphics have to like blend in. Electric locomotive in Caltrain livery. This brief there you introduction are. will cover basic driving control, passenger door operation, and recovery from an emergency stop. Climb aboard to hmm. get started. I'm gonna walk over here really quick because oh my god, I heard somebody talking about how obnoxious these were. First off, louder. Huh, they try to track sound. Man, that's obnoxious. All right, let's get ourselves over here. And of course, if I go like that, that's still there, and I can't... Oh, I can, actually. Well, that's not a good view. Yes, I know. Ding, 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 ding. Fun fact, when I was a kid, I used to call them ding-dings, not crossing signals, because, you know, that's too hard for a child to figure out what to call it. Always want to make sure that you grab yourself a good screenshot, even though I don't think I like that one. Yes, I got it. Yes. All right, let's climb aboard. Door open first. Climb on up. Door closed. A lot of time will be spent in the engineering. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Believe it or not. These trains operate a semi-fast service pattern, and thus do not stop at all stations on the line. Be sure to only stop where indicated. I mean, you're the boss. <clears throat> Activate the auxiliary systems as oh. indicated. Which which one? Engine run. Generator field. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's standard. Confirm this locomotive in the train is in charge of the brake systems. Set the cut-in control. Oh, there it is. This locomotive has a removable reverser. Like Take most. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe. Then unlock the doors. Uh, oh, that camera is why? <gasps> What's that? I don't know what this is. So I, I was just trying to look out the door and we are under the seat. I just want to look out the window. Yeah, I guess all is safe. That took a while. 
God, that is obnoxious. It's a lot more obnoxious than I thought it was. This thing is just... It, it looks like a bullet, I will tell you. It, it does look like a, a fast train. I can't wait to actually sit in those cabs. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Loud. That didn't get any quieter. Oh, okay, can we not slowly bring that out? Don't don't whip it around. It's time to depart. Set the doors to locked. Okay, where's my door indicator? I didn't see anything change. That is not a good sign. Forward. And oh. releasing the brakes. Wait until the brake cylinder gauge. Yeah, I really wish, and I said this on the other tutorials, and I should know better by now, but I really wish it would just continue talking. Really quick, while that's doing that, let's pop out here. Yeah, it looks like the same it looks just like the same line. I think we came through here. When using the throttle to increase power. Whoops. Okay, same indicators. I do like the kinda no horn yet. You've got to give me that control. Aye. Ooh, that is a, that is quick stick. Use the throttle and brake levers to ensure <laughs> the line speed limit is adhered to. Well, it's eighty. Man, I just feel like I'm sitting so far back in this one. Okay, that is that is very sensitive on this locomotive. I mean, it's 80. <laughs> Why would I need to do any sort of break? Use the throttle brake to maintain. All right, well, let's see what we can actually get this thing to climb up to. It sounds very streamlined, which I heard they actually took actual recordings from the bullet itself. Smooth as could be so far. Oh, I've got to stop here. Okay, well, you're the boss, I guess. Time to figure out what this thing's breaking in idle distance is going to be able to be. Well, we are coming up to a yellow, and I don't know how much that's going to change. So let's pop you in idle for now. I do like that acceleration so far. Ooh, look at her go. Always got to grab some good screenshots. You guys know that. All right, well. Let's see. We're going to be at uh, point six. Two a half. The half mile, I want us to be an idle. And let's start at, let's start here. Okay, so it's gonna be one of these. I like the lap, I like the, the other one on the corridor. Did not plan out well in advance. Eep. <laughs> I'm gonna fail this tutorial, aren't I? Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, we're just going to be opening up the back, um, <clears throat> back seats. Back doors. Oh, even the back doors are going to be like this poor asshole. Yeah, they don't worry about it. That was that was the best parking I've done in my life. Take a quick glance. Oh, my God. To ensure all is safe. Yeah, it, all safe. I mean, as safe as it could be. Bing, bing.
Uh, this is your captain speaking. If you are in the first one, two, three, four, five cars, uh, please do not go to your exits at this time. Uh, do me a favor, uh, proceed to the back of the train, uh, and don't fall off the cliff. Thank you for riding with Caltrain today. Uh, and do not fill out that service card, please and thank you. Oi, okay, we will get better at that. Doesn't sound like there's any announcements, that's a bummer. Yeah, I know. That was bad. Proceed to the next station. Be aware that, before that is way too sensitive. There, an emergency stop will be simulated. Well, fantastic. I'm so looking forward to that. I also, I do like that just for the fact of... I have accidentally put it into emergency braking so many times. Five's the max. I wanted four. This thing is way too sensitive for keyboard. And I don't even want to try pulling the actual lever, so... On that. We are five miles away, which means we should be able to get up to a pretty good amount of speed. Wanted to get a good sample of what that sound is like. You're going to be moving around a lot. I've been sitting in this chair far too long today trying to get American Truck Simulator to work again. We failed. Very disappointed in that. And let's pop it up to full speed and let's see what we're able to climb in these five miles here. Do one thing that I usually like to do. I'm going to try to beat the train, of course. Let's find the next good spot to watch. Do we have an empty station coming up? No, it doesn't look it. We do not need to be barking, Ella. I hear you. No? Well, we're going to be far away at this point. Oh, wait. Here's one. All right. Damn it. <laughs> I was busy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well. Yep, we can come to a complete stop. Oh, I wonder, is that a kill switch over there? First aid. Okay. To recover from this situation, the controls must first be reset. Follow the indicated steps. The train is ready to move again. Continue on to the next station. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Okay. Usually there's a whole reset. This one was just, hey, turn off the brake and go. Thanks, my friend. Only wanted one. Be like ninja skills here now. Up to seven. Yeah, I'm going to red limit that one, but that's fine. Pop out of the train now. Let's do what I was trying to do a while ago. Travel back down the line. Oh, my God. Uh, I just can't believe that. That's, that's funny, though. Damn it. Hit the wrong one. Hurry. Man, look at that thing just go flying by. Seems so bulky. Damn, am I stuck in tutorial again? Where I can't get the bell to not chime. Alright, oh, let's travel down the line. See where else we can peek from. Go 
Green signal looks good. Jump. 76 miles an hour. The amount of wind that that thing must be pushing off. Alright, we're going to try for a much better... Ooh, okay, got to watch that speed there. We are going to hope for a much better... Um, stoppage. <laughs> I almost said landing. Hopefully we're not landing this thing. Much better stop coming up. All right, sticking around seventy eight, that's fine enough. Yeah, let's pop it up to eight. Just keep up that speed. Knowing us, we are probably fairly behind. All right, so from a half mile away, we are going to start applying some brakes. More brakes. 50% brakes. Now you just be able to get up to these kind of speeds, so bear with me on that. Jeez, another horrible stop. It's going to take us forever to figure this thing out. It's probably a mile. Well, yep. Called it. Called it. Oh, I should have last... Ah, load last checkpoint. Load last checkpoint. Damn it. All right. Well, you guys will be able to see it. <sighs> We're going to have to do the whole thing over again. You guys will see it at the end for that final station. All right. We're not going to screw it up this time. We are going to be make sure we are ready to break in far enough advance beforehand... I'd rather creep and crawl into the station at this point. <sighs> of course, now the bell's going to be stuck on. Right, at least it looks like we're going to be able to stop at the station this time. Nothing like hanging your head in shame and having to do that tutorial over again, by the way. Man, this thing sits so high. And granted, I know it goes about 80 miles an hour, but I don't know. I know it's a diesel bullet, but still. It feels like it could be faster. What's not going to be safe? Are we worried about like somebody rampaging on board? Will that be a scenario? Do I need to be taking notes? Because if so, I have a couple questions. I I'm kind of excited for the answers to these questions, but you know, I just want to make sure that we are ready. Sorry, I realized my volume might have gotten louder. I just got closer to the microphone. I'm watching the AI traffic in the background. Man, that school bus just came to 90, <laughs> 9 miles an hour to that turn, stopped, took a 90 degree turn, and here it comes. Look at it, you see that other one just pop in there? Jeez. Good work. That concludes this introduction. More details okay. on I would really like to be able to see inside the train. Let me in. 
Let me out. Can, will you let me free roam? <sighs> of course not. Let's go to the main menu, though. Let's check out anything else that we have. I think we have two new scenarios. We actually have three. So we have early riser, prepare the train for departure, get it uh, fueled up. Ooh, fueled up. Awesome. Cruise in the bay, attempt to keep the baby bullet service on time while traveling across the bay area. That's a joke and a half. Um, prepare and drive a baby bullet service south of San Jose um, through the sweltering summer heat. Well, good to know that we have all these options for us. We still have all these. Op we have so many options. You guys got so many videos coming your way, you don't even know. Um, let's go in here to timetables. Let's grab Ye Bullet. And, of course, these are just the same. More or less just the same. Oh, look how long that route is. Um, more or less just the same as, as the other one. Um, and then, of course, on the next episode, as you guys know, we'll be popping into the bi-level cab car. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoy what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch, and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think, what you might want to see in future episodes. Always open to suggestions from you guys, and just love to hear from you as well. If you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to show support, a subscribe is always appreciated. Just lets us know that we're doing something right, and it does put a big smile on our face every day when we get to see that number. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>